Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Paperboy. Happy Saturday. This week we're talking about if transition is forever. And it sure seems like it. <laughs> I don't know that it, it... It depends on what kind of transition. Are we talking medically or mentally or emotionally? Uh, medically, for me, I see an endpoint. Uh, whenever I'm done with alloplasty, of course, it's not just one stage, so... I still have a bit of my medical trans transition to go, and also, of course, I'm always going to have to take testosterone. Uh, I think that the mental-emotional transition could more so be forever, just because you're kind of always coming out to people. I mean, if you choose, like, if you're not stealth or... Um, yeah, I mean, it's always going to be a thing, especially if you're going to the doctor and you have to uh, talk about medical history or things like that. Um, and for me, I know mentally, emotionally, I'm still kind of catching up to my physical changes and I'm still living in a, in an area where I was known pre-transition, so I still feel like I'm transitioning. <laughs> And I, when I meet new people, I feel like it's like another stage in transition because these people don't know my past, therefore they did not know what where what I looked like or my my name or my uh, stuff like that. So I guess in a sense, transition can be forever. But I feel like everyone transitions through their whole life, not just uh, trans people, because we all evolve. We don't all believe the same thing we did when we were five years old. We don't think the same or look the same. So, sure, a transition, I'd say, could be forever. So, yeah, that's it. See you next week, guys. Peace out.